When I learned about this quote, I think it was just mind blowing for me. It says, the mind once stretched by an idea never returns to its original dimensions. But the challenge to you is once it has been stretched, will you take action on it? Because most people get regrets because they know some stuff, but they don't take action on it and nothing happens for them. So only when you are able to take actions, will you be able to see things changing for you? Quick question. Why do we get paid? When you go to work and at the end of the month, you receive, you're waiting for you to receive a, a paycheck. Why? We get paid as a way of compensation of the services that we offer to the employer. And the more valuable the services you are offering to the employer, the more the payment should be. Remember, you're not just paid because you have studied, because you have these qualifications, you have this degree, you have this whatever. You're being paid for the value that you're giving or providing into the company. And the more value you provide, then you can be able to be paid more and you can also be able to demand for more. And so what makes you valuable as an individual so that we can look at the money equation? What makes us valuable? That should be the question we ask ourselves. It is skills. It is not luck that makes us valuable. It is having the right skills. The biggest divide between the people who are successful in their career and those who are not, it is the skills gap. And you need to focus on personal development because this is where you get your key skills. I focus on how do I grow? How do I get better? That is personal development. Now, one of the things is for you to do a skills inventory. Do you know what you are capable of? Do you know what skills, the key skills that you have? Do you know what is needed in the market? You can get your skills from your experience. You can get it from your education. Maybe some of the certifications that you have done. Soft skills are also very important. Hard skills, your hobbies. Do a skills inventory. And I also want to bring to your attention that we have two types of skills. We have soft skills and hard skills. Hard skills, I will not go into details, but I want to mention this. From my own experience as a recruiter, I know that jobs are advertised based on hard skills, but hiring, selection, is done through soft skills. So be sure that you have both as you do your self-assessment.